Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, it is officially fight week, one of the biggest fight weeks we will have all year long. Saturday, March 4th, we got Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman here in the States, and we got Another fight that I'm excited for, and uh, David Hay and Tony Bell, you over there in the UK, I think it's going to be a tremendous uh, day of boxing. Uh, with that being said, for the two main events, I figure on this channel, you know, I do something a little special for uh, this, these fights, just this fight week, because, you know, I'm excited for it. So, uh, basically, for this fight, uh, for both fights, for every fight, for all four fighters in the main events, uh, Hay, Bell, you, Garcia, and Thurman, I'm going to give you the keys for each and every one of them to beat their opponent so in this video right here we're going to talk about my fellow Everton fan Tony Bell you shout out to Everton Lukaku Ross Barkley you know hopefully get to the top six but anyway it's not about soccer Tony Bell you uh you know he's coming into this fight as a massive underdog you know, a lot a lot of people are counting him out to win a lot of people are saying that he gets stopped within three rounds and honestly it, it I could, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to say that. I, I love Tony Bell. You know, I met him at the convention, but it is, it is a possibility with David Hayes' power and speed, and the fact that Tony's fighting a heavyweight, and, and he's already kind of a fat cruiserweight, so now he's gonna be a fat heavyweight. It is possible, but here are some things that Tony Bell can do to defeat and upset, shock the world, and beat David Hayes. So here's what we're gonna go with here. So key number one, which is something I thought he's done a very good job of uh, so far, even though people may not want to admit it, and they say David Hayes is gonna kill him and all this stuff. Tony Bellew has won the mental war. And I think he has to continue winning the mental war all the way up until they step into the ring. He has to get David Hay up here. All right? Get David Hay up here. Now, look. David Hay can say whatever he wants, but these, are, these this is reality. Tony Bellew has been fighting, you know, at Cruiserweight. He's become a champion. He's fought some, you know, top 10 type of guys and, 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 and has been in some wars, some, some character shaping character defining fights you know uh, at cruiserweight uh the makabu fight you know i think illustrates that perfectly um so there's that and the fact of the matter is ever since the Derek store fight which i believe was in 2012 david hay has not been in a real fight it's been five years since he's been in a real fight he only has has three rounds under his belt so while people can say that he has a he, athletically he's definitely superior to value but you can be as athletically superior as you want. This is boxing, and if you if you haven't really been in a, in a dog fight in quite some time, it will take its toll on you. And I think that Tony Bellew has done a great job of letting David Hay know that in the build up to this fight, and uh, whether people want to admit it or not, um, he's in David Hay's head. He's he he is in David Hay's head. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing for Bellew? We don't know. We'll, we'll see that on fight night. But he definitely has been winning, in my opinion, the mental war against David Hay. So. That's key number one. Continuing the mental war against David because that's very, very, very important. Boxing is is just as much a mental game as it is a physical game. So anybody who's been in the ring before uh, knows this. So uh, key number two. Next key. Make him feel some of your power. Now look, this is going to be a very important thing for Tony Bellew because he's fighting a heavyweight. We a lot of us don't know, and I, a lot of us don't expect him to carry up that weight. Uh, when I saw him at the convention. This was in December. This is this probably this is in the very early stages of his training. Um, back in December, he didn't look like he was in bad shape. He actually looked like he was in pretty good shape to me. Um, you know, he was he worked out pretty hard at the, at the hotel uh, when I saw him with Eddie Hearn uh, when I after I, while, while I interviewed him. Uh, he didn't look that bad. He actually he carried the weight uh, kind of well, but he hasn't fought at the weight, so it, it's going to be a, a, a bit of a challenge for him to land his power on David Hay. But it's still possible. I mean, look, um, and, and you know, shout out to Mr. Boxing today. He did. A, he did. A, I'm kind of gonna say something he said because he's right when he said it, uh, in his in his keys to victory. And I'm gonna. I might, I might put that in the annotations here, so be on the lookout for that. But uh, Mr. Boxing today was saying that like Tony cannot, 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 you know, throw combinations. He can't get into the habit of throwing combinations against David Hay because he doesn't have the hand speed, and he's and, and he's gonna be out. Uh, gunned as far in the speed department as far as you know that so I, I think for him you know you got to kind of faint and, and, and find creative ways to get in because David Hay also has a reach advantage so he's gonna have to find creative ways to get in there and get out because um, he, he does need he does need to land some meaningful shots to win this fight he can't 
he's not going to outbox David Hay. There's just no way. So, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, uh, make him feel some power. I, you know, D D Tony Bellew has shown the ability that when he does land a big shot, he knows how to finish his opponents. Uh, so, he's going to have to do that in this fight here. If, uh, if he can, that's going to be amazing for him. Uh, David Hay, you know, for all the t tangible, you know, great things he does have. Another thing Tony Bellew said leading up to the fight, because it was true. All the great tangible things he has, speed, power, all those attributes, you know, he has shown uh, in the past to kind of lack the, the intangible qualities that make you a, 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 a great fighter. He's a great talent, but he ne I don't think Tony Bell, oh, not Tony Bell, I don't think David ever quite became a great fighter at heavyweight, and he's been right about that, you know, the, 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 in regards to that. So, if he's able to make him feel some power and think twice about maybe winning this fight, then uh, that definitely lends credence to Bellew and, and, and uh, lends, you know, him uh, a bigger chance of winning this fight. So, yeah, making him making him feel your power, that, that's going to come off of, you know, feigning, getting in there, and, and just setting things up. Uh, he cannot, under any circumstances, throw three to four punch combinations against Dave Hay unless he is hurt. So, that's key number two for Tony Bellew in this fight. And the last key, but probably the most important one out of them all, he needs to test the conditioning of... Uh, David Hay. Now look, David Hay is ripped and he's got big muscles and he can punch, but the fact of the matter is, we go back to facts here on the channel, David Hay has only fought three rounds in his comeback. And if you go back and you watch the fights against Jared Jai and Demori, these guys were hitting, these guys are falling with, with the first punch David Hay hit him with. Now say what you want about Tony Bell, you, you might think he's going to get destroyed uh, brutally in this fight. And if you do, you know, that's your opinion, you're entitled to it. But David Hay um, has not fought a war. You know, Tony Bellew at cruiserweight, okay? He's a world-level fighter, world-level, uh, you know, talent at, at cruiserweight. Um, but David Hay has not fought. I mean, he, he's, he's never fought a heavyweight, but David Hay has not fought any live dog in a while. So I think Tony Bellew is going to be a live dog in this fight. And for him here, it's about testing the conditioning of David Hay. Make him question the preparation he had leading up, leading up to this fight, you know, three rounds is against a guy who learned how to box on YouTube and some random switch, switch guy, switch, uh, guy from Switzerland called the Cobra should not be enough for this guy to have, have confidence in against me. I'm the WBC Cruiserweight Champion. Yes, before fighting a heavyweight, but I'm gonna make a, I'm, I'm gonna make my presence very very known in the ring. So testing his conditioning uh, by hurting him, number one. Two, using uh, good mobility. Tony has decent solid mobility. I think. Um, not the best mobility in the, mobility in the world, but he's he's, de he's de it's definitely better than people give him credit for. So testing him as far as using him the feints, getting him to overcommit on punches, uh, countering him if need be, landing straight, compact, short punches, making this a dog fight. You know, David Hay is a pretty boy. He's from London. Look, that's cool. Shout out to London. But Tony Bellew, he's from Liverpool, freaking England. And it's from what I understand, I've never been there, but from what I've been told by people with Liverpool, you know, those scousers are very blue collar, very blue collar. So make this an ugly fight, test his conditioning, and, and, and make him and go to places he's not willing to go to. That's how Tony Bellew wins this fight. Um, you know, obviously, I don't, I don't think he can he can outbox David Hay. I think you know he's gonna have to just be smart in those first four rounds. Don't throw anything stupid. Don't get caught with nothing meaningful in the first four rounds. Uh, and, and around the fifth round, sixth round, seventh round, as the fight goes on, you pick up the pace. You begin to you get, you you begin to get it get in David Hayes' uh, chest and, and take him to those late, late waters. And as they say, deep waters, take him to deep waters and drown his ass. And that's how Tony Tony Bellew wins this fight. That's how Everton beats Arsenal. All right, <laughs> shout out to Everton. And um, that's how he makes this uh, the best win of his career and beats the the you know in his what he said when I interviewed him, the best cruise weight to ever come out of Great Britain. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What does Tony Bellio need to do to defeat David Hay? I, get, I gave you my keys. Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys.